It's a pretty old photo of me when I used to live in Madrid in Spain. It's my mate Adam had the worst haircut in the world at that point. I thought I was Kurt Cobain. But that's a story for another day. More importantly, I was lucky enough to work in Spain for a bit. And I had to leave the office eventually when my contract came to an end. And so as a good person I am, I bought some pastries for my colleagues, my co-workers. And I sent round an email to the office just to let people know that I'd done this and that they could help themselves. And it was available for people to take in the canteen. And so I wrote an email. Despedida was the asunto, which means the subject when you write an email. And it means despes despedida means like a goodbye, a send off. And of course, the the um, start of the email, I said, hola chicos. I used a little at sign. I'll cover that later. Stick around to the end of this video. But that's a top top trick for you. And then I, you know, proceeded to let them know in Spanish that I bought some pastries. And so I got my good friend, mi colega Carlos or Calitos. I always like how English people say Carlos like that. And the Spanish is more uh, elegant. Carlos, Calitos. And Carlos very kindly checked the email for me, corrected a few of the mistakes that I'd obviously made. And he added in this at the end. Tira la casa por la ventana. And that confused me. I'd never heard this this phrase before. He actually used it in the present perfect tense. He tirado. I have. La casa por la ventana. And I knew that tirar meant to throw. And so I was literally translating as it. He tirado. I've thrown the house out through the window. And so I said, Carlos, tío, dime, ¿qué significa esta frase acá? Tirar la casa por la ventana. To throw the house through the window. It actually means to go all out, to spare no expense at all. And so the reason he'd added that on the end is because he thought it'd be quite funny for people to think that I've gone all out, guys. It's a celebration. I'm leaving and I bought some pastries for you. You know, ironically, they were not very exp expensive at all. But it was quite funny in this case. And so this tirar la casa por la ventana, this phrase, absolutely love it. And it means just to go all out, spend no expense, you know, in terms of money. And we're going to use it when we're talking about celebration. So another example could be, chicos, hoy cumplo 50 años. Today I'm, I'm, I turned 50, right? That's a, a once in a lifetime event. And so I'm, I'm not going to spare any expenses. He tirado la casa por la ventana. I've, I've gone all out and I've booked a restaurant for us all and I'm paying for everything. All right. So that's another example of it. And it's just a great phrase. And I hope that you guys find that one, one useful. If you don't know what the at sign means here and why, why I've used that and why I love it, check out the little video below where I explain everything. Hope you found this one useful, chicos. Un abrazo grande. Please do subscribe to the canal. Share it with your friends. Like this video. Leave a comment if you have any questions. Hasta luego. Un abrazo. Chao.